everybody, welcome back to Bar Run Forge. It's Troy, and it's another, basically, a tool review. We are here in Eli's new house, his shed to house, and uh, we've got a bit of an issue. We, we've been converting part of the building, the shop, into a wood shop, and the, the old uh, miter saw that we had, sliding compound miter saw, the old DeWalt that I've had for long time has finally kind of bit the dust we're working on getting some parts for it to get it back up and going but it's kind of a stationary it's a really heavy old piece and we're going to be here in the shop or and not here in the shop but we're going to be here in eli's house for some time and we're going to need a miter saw if there is one tool basically for cutting uh, when it comes to a a project like this a sliding compound miter is the tool to have. Uh, you know, you got your hammers, you got your drills and, your, and things like that. But when it comes to cutting, there is no substitute for a sliding compound miter saw. It is such a versatile tool uh, for doing construction. And so we looked at our local Harbor Freight and they had a great deal on these new uh, radio arm saws. I call them radio arm saws. They're sliding compound miter saws. The old school would be the radial arm saw. Anyway, they had a great deal on these sliding compound miter saws. Uh, this is kind of their new line that they carry is their, I don't want to say lower end, but just a different end. Uh, it's called Admiral. The deal they had on these was just unmatched. There was no way I could not do this for a smaller, uh, I say smaller unit, but it's really not. It is a 12 inch sliding compound miter saw. It is a 15 amp motor. That's pretty much all of them. All of them have a 15 amp motor. They're 12 inch, the sliding compound. It has a laser guide on it. Uh, it's got a slide out table for uh, support. And it is so much lighter uh, than the DeWalt saw. Part of the reason why I grabbed a hold of it, it is lighter. It is able to be moved around. The other sliding compound miter saw we have on the stand, it's it's unbearable. I mean, it's just you almost have to have two people to move it. Uh, so that's just not good for here in the house doing this project and some other mobile projects that we've had. I don't want to do all this with. Uh, I've got a great old Dewalt worm gear circular saw that I've loved for years. I don't want to do all this cutting that way. It sometimes can be a little inaccurate uh, just doing it that way. No matter how good you are with a circular saw, uh, there's always some little room for error. So I'm going to unbox this, see how it looks. We'll plug it in. We'll cut some, some two buys with it, just see how it works. So check it out. So we'll do just a basic unboxing. Uh, again, we got a razor knife here. But try to be careful with that. Keep that handy. I'm sure we'll have to do a little bit more. And again, one of these things that I try to notice first off is first glance, how are things packaged in here? One of the things I noticed about this saw and what the salesperson told me is, I was going to buy one of the other saws. He said, this one comes with a carbide tip blade. Now, is it the greatest blade in the world, the Diablo or one of the other ones? Probably not, but it is a carbide tip blade. Uh, it comes with it and it is, um, you know, if you buy one of these by themselves, you're looking at another 45 up to 60 bucks, even beyond. So this comes with a blade with it. So that's a good sign right off the bat. We'll set that aside. And then I'm noticing also a clamping mechanism. You can put that on, clamp your uh, material in place while you're cutting. That's good when you have just one person. And we look through here, we've got a dust collector dust bag, uh, owner's manual, we'll look at that in just a second, got some other guides, a wrench, and what else do we have in here? Uh, some clamping hardware, and up top, that's it. So pick that out, I like, again, I like the design, I know that sounds crazy, but I like the design of the styrofoam. Well packaged. Reach in here. The first thing I'm going to wonder is how solid is that when you when you lock it down into place? How solid does it hold? And I'm grabbing hold of the handle. And I'm just getting very little movement. Let's get the saw out. Again, this thing is not near. I mean, nowhere near as heavy 
as the DeWalt unit. Uh, packaged up pretty good. It's pretty much ready to go. That's just, you know, this is one of those things that you don't want to assemble one of these. You don't want to have to put everything together. And you know, I'm trying to be positive about this, but I'm really not having any problems being positive at this point because it just comes that way. Um, we're looking at zip ties to lock it into place. Cut those again. A little styrofoam backing on it. Um, I'll pull that out. The locking mechanism. I'll put it back down. And again, that's not a lot of play um, in the lockdown mechanism. So we'll let that back up. Take an initial look at it. And one of the things that I'm going to do immediately is square it up to 90 degrees. And I'm just going to look around. Supports. We've got stop blocks. Um, really, everything I'm seeing so far looks really pretty good. There's that clamping mechanism. You can go on either side with it. Uh, it's got a spot. It just goes right in there. And you'll be able to clamp it down. Slide outs on either side. Um, the compound bevel. So you can put multiple bevels on it. Again, I, I'm really not having any issue with it so far. Um, slides freely. Lock down into place. Oh, I like that. That's actually a really cool thing. This locking mechanism here, um, if you've got it set like that, it'll automatically lock in place. So one of the things you have to make sure is you turn it the 90 degrees there, and then you can just let it go. I'm liking that. Uh, it's got two switches, one for the laser, uh, and one to turn it on. It's got the safeties. You cannot, I like the cross handle as well. So to, so to operate it, you pull in this with your thumb, this little safety right here, and it's either way. I like that. That's nice. So you pull in the safety, down you go. You cannot start it without the safety. There's no way to do that. Great little safety tip on that, safety measure. Um, really, at this point, all I need to do is look at the directions, make sure I'm not missing anything, put the blade on, and uh, get to cutting. Okay, assembly has been done. Uh, there's a couple things I will say. Uh, I was pretty pleased with just about everything. Uh, the, the mechanism to get the blade on was a little cumbersome. Uh, I'd like to have somewhere for the wrench to go to put the blade on, but that's okay. If it's on here, I missed it. Uh, the miter gauge lock is, I don't know, it's a little inconvenient. I mean, you screw it in to lock it into place. You unscrew it and then you swing it around to your desired spot and then you gotta lock it in if you feel like locking it in. It has some stops on it in different spots, 22 and a half, 45, 90. Um, you know, other things about it I really like. Again, all the mechanisms on it, the safety features, it assembled really pretty easily. So I guess, you know, there's really not a whole lot else to do but to make some cuts. So the first thing we're going to do is actually plug it in. It's got a nice little extension uh, cord hanger. So you can set that up. Oh, one of the things I really wanted to mention um, about one of the things I liked about it, the uh, dust collector, the bag, was really pretty easy to put on. I don't know how durable it is or how fancy it is, but it was easy to put on. Last thing we want to do, we've got it plugged in, is it has a laser light and an LED. So even if you're in a dark space like right now, we don't have any light in here. And I don't know if you can tell on that laser light or not, but it throws down a nice nice line right down there. Uh, the LED does make a big difference. So, um, nothing more than to give it a cut, give the safety feature like that. You can actually bring this around. We'll 
gonna go ahead and screw that down, lock it into place. Nice hold down. So you're not reaching across. So let's give it a shot. Nice clean cut. Looks really good and square. So that was pressure treated 2x4. And so I'm going to do, I've got a little chunk of pressure treated 4x4 because one of the reasons why you get a, a 12 inch saw is for things like this. So let's adjust this. Again, I'd like to keep my hands out of the way. Yeah, I'd like to make this cut. This has got a lot of adjustment space on it for the hold down. So I'm going to lock that into place. Get it back in there and lock it down. Laser light. Boy, I'll tell you what, that is a nice, pretty clean cut, and it didn't even budge at a 4x4 pressure treated. So there you have it, folks, on the Admiral 12-inch uh, compound sliding miter saw from Harbor Freight. Uh, 15 amps. It's got the LED light on it, the laser on it. For the price that we got it for, heck, for a normal price. So far, I see well worth it. I mean, you guys that have cut through uh, pressure treated lumber before know that sometimes, boy, it can really bog it down. But this tool right here seemed to really do the trick. It's much lighter than the DeWalt. Uh, I, I know that's good and bad at the same time. But to do this project in here and any other small projects to lug this one around is going to be a whole lot easier uh, than lugging around that big DeWalt saw. Plus, we've got to get it fixed and some parts on it so it can stay in the wood shop. This is gonna be kind of our mobile uh, setup here, and I really kind of like it. We're probably gonna put it up on a stand. Uh, it's not a necessity. I mean, we can walk right over to this, put one down, chop it, be done with it, and uh, we've got a whole floor here to work off of. So I'm excited about being able to use this saw. I'm excited about the project here uh, in the shed to house. We're gonna be coming out with some, uh, some new videos on that very soon. I think the, the newest one will be the framing of the interior so you get to see what the interior layout is going to be here in Eli's shed to house thank you guys so much for joining us uh, we thank you for every time you come in and join us on our videos here at bar run forge bar run farm and uh, i don't know whatever the shed the house project is going to be how we call that but anyway we appreciate you all thank you so much for coming in god bless and we'll see you on the next one take care